So the leaks just keep on coming. So in a series of tweets, veteran tech leaker Rogame has uncovered the clock speeds of AMD's Navi 21, or rather better known as Big Navi GPUs, which go on to power the top of the line Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Now as per Rogame, the Navi 21 XT and the Navi 21 XL that one we haven't spoken too much lately, will have clock speeds upwards to 2.4 GHz, which is also something that we reported on yesterday. The AMD Navi 21 GPU, which is going to be the big Navi chip, will have several variants. We know from previous leaks that Navi 21 SKU lineup includes the Navi 21 XTX, Navi 21 XT, the Navi 21 XL, and the Navi 21 XLE. Now the graphics card that AMD teased at the Zen 3 announcement was most likely the Navi 21 XT die and will be referred to as the Radeon RX 6900 XT. Yesterday it was reported that the Navi 21 XT GPU will feature insane clock speeds of 2.4 gigahertz and a TGP of 255 watts. Now Rogame gives us an even better insight as what to expect from the Navi 21 SKUs in regards to their clock frequencies. The leaker reports that both Navi 21 XT and Navi 21 XL big Navi GPUs for the RX 6000 series will feature a huge variation between base and boost clocks. We're looking at upwards of 700 megahertz difference between the base and boost frequencies. Now here are the speeds as listed by Rogame. So the AMD RX 6000 series Navi 21 XT GPU clocks, base clock of 1450 megahertz to 1500 megahertz, the game clock is 2000 megahertz to 2100 megahertz, with the boost clock reaching 2200 megahertz to 2400 megahertz. AMD Radeon RX 6000 series Navi 21 XL GPU clocks base clock is 1350 megahertz to 1400 megahertz. The game clock is 1800 megahertz to 1900 megahertz with the boost clock of 2100 megahertz maybe 2200 megahertz. Now, according to the leaker, the Navi 21 XT and XL GPUs will feature even higher clock speeds in AIB made custom models. The first batch of GPUs will be sold as reference only variants, but AMD partners are definitely cooking their own custom designs that will feature even higher clock speeds. Now, similar statements were provided by video cards whose sources at AIBs revealed that the Navi 21 XL will have peak clock speeds of around 2.2 gigahertz, similar to what was stated by Rogame. It's likely that the red team will artificially lock the clock speeds, but reference samples are said to feature around 2.3 gigahertz peak clocks with AIBs hitting around that 2.4 gigahertz clocks out of the box. Now AMD's Navi 21 XT and XLE variants are currently unknown and the former is said to be an AMD exclusive variant and there are rumors that the Navi 21 XTX can feature a higher number of cores than the Navi 21 XT GPU which peaks out around 5120 stream processors or 80 CUs being compute units but that remains to be seen. The XTX variant could be a special bin variant and AMD could market it as the highest performing big Navi Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Previously, the highest in SKUs have received more premium designs such as AIO cooling and we can see the return of that at the XTX variant. Now, Patrick Schur has also reported that while the 255 watt TGP is mostly close to the reference spec, the max TGP is suggested around 250. 90 watts. AIB models will feature different TGBs based on their cooling and board design and Patrick also reaffirms that the 2.4 GHz game clock was achieved by an AIB card so it could have been slightly overclocked outside of factory overclock specifications. Now as for the 21 XT and XL graphics cards, these are said to both feature 16 GB and 12 GB GDR6 memory capacities. The bus interface of the 16 GB variant is 256 bit. Per the leaked PCB, there's also reports of the Infinity Cache being one of the big features on Navi 21 GPUs, offering higher bandwidth figures to boast higher res gaming performance. 
Now these are specifications that we know so far, but expect more leaks to occur in the coming days prior to the unveil itself. Now on October 28th, we'll be here live streaming our pre-show and we'll be doing a roundup of the biggest leaks and speculations regarding what they'll be showing, see what they have to show, and then we'll wrap it up just like we did with the Zen 3 launch since you fine folks seem to enjoy that one so much. Now on my way out for this video, if you stuck around this far, I do have the question, which of the big Navi parts are you most anticipating? The biggest big, the smallest big, or just the big? Love to hear your thoughts on that one. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.